When you don't have the engineering analysis, when you just observe that something is present in humans, it's, it, it is uh, impossible, I think, to make a proper functional or adaptationist explanation. And music might be an example. As, much, as important as music is in our lives, as much pleasure as it gives us, as much use we, we uh, uh, give it in social circumstances, it's completely unclear to me why it would have to be music that would do any of those things. Why would uh, notes in certain rhythmic and harmonic relations be a solution to any engineering problem? And it's possible, uh, and it's an empirical issue, that uh, music is actually a byproduct of other adaptations. Perhaps our sensitivity to speech, a harmonically rich sound that the brain has to analyze into its frequency components in order to understand speech. Perhaps a byproduct of emotional calls that uh, go way back in, in uh, primate evolutionary history, sighs, moans, laughs, cries, and so on. Possibly a byproduct of motor control, keeping your uh, bodily actions at a constant optimal rhythm. And maybe what music does is it combines bits and pieces of all these other parts of the brain, packs them into a supernormal stimulus, something that actually presses our buttons harder than anything in the, in the natural environment would, and we enjoy it. Uh, at least that's another hypothesis, and it shows not everything has to be an adaptation. Let me see if I've got that right. You're, you're saying that in order to analyze speech, the brain has to have certain mechanisms for taking frequencies, analyzing harmonics and things. Otherwise, we couldn't tell the difference between, say, vowel sounds. I mean, the difference between ah and oo and er uh is... That, that's not in itself musical. But the same software mechanisms, the same brain mechanisms that you need in order to tell whether you've got an ah, an er uh, or an oo, can't help being supernormally stimulated by, uh, say, pure tones or... Uh, N notes that stay the same for a long time, or harmonies, chords, uh, harmonious chords. Whether, is, is that something like what, what you're saying? Yes, exactly. Uh, at least it's certainly a, a, a viable hypothesis, and I think it's more plausible than any hypothesis that tries to find some function in, in uh, music. Okay. And, the, and, and the sense of rhythm, uh, would that also come from speech, or do you think that might... I mean, the, the enjoyment of rhythm, do you think yeah. that comes from speech or does that come from somewhere else? I suspect it comes more from motor control and yeah. it is significant that in as far as I know in all cultures people move to music. They, they dance, they clap, they snap, they sway and certainly uh, for many kinds of, of uh, motor activities there is an optimal rhythm depending on the impedance of the of your body and the work uh, pounding, running, uh, scraping. Because our limbs are sort of natural pendulums and, and that, that kind of thing. Exactly. Yes. And so uh, I think one would build into any uh, robotic system uh, a, uh, an ability to do something at a particular rhythm, perhaps even a pleasure in finding the optimal rhythm, and it's possible that music taps into that.